surprise move in the Kevin Spacey assault case. The actor turns up in an Nantucket courtroom. A hearing was scheduled for his case, but Spacey had been told he did not need to be there. Good afternoon. I'm Kate Merrill. And I'm Brianna Pitts. In for Chris McKinnon. Spacey is accused of groping a teenager at a Nantucket bar. WBZ's Christina Hager joins us with more on what unfolded during today's hearing. Christina. Well, as you said, it was a surprise because this was not a hearing. Spacey was required to attend, but he and his defense team are going after Spacey's accuser, saying new evidence shows the alleged victim or his mother deleted text messages from his phone. The case first came to light back in 2017 when former Boston television anchor Heather Unruh said Spacey sexually assaulted her then teenage son. She accused the Oscar winner of getting her starstruck son drunk at the club car restaurant in Nantucket where he worked as a busboy. Spacey has pleaded not guilty to indecent assault and battery. On Friday, his attorney filed a motion demanding an unaltered copy of the accuser's cell phone. Today, he says prosecutors gave him a DVD, which he says probably does not have the information he's looking for. He says prosecutors knew texts were deleted and hid that information. Are you kidding? Heather Unruh took it upon herself to physically remove exculpatory information from the phone before she handed it to the government. And the government never told us. So that was defense attorney Alan Jackson who said Unruh or her son went through the phone and cleansed it, in his words. Prosecutors refute his claim saying they've turned over all the evidence they have in their possession. The judge in the case has already ordered the club car to turn over surveillance footage of the night in question by today. Kate, Brianna.